How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane. I'm here to give you another Digimon Ghost Game episode review recap. Today's episode is, of course, episode 6. And I actually wrote this called The Cursed Song. So, before we get into it, please, if you're new here, give me a like, subscribe, hit the comment section. I do appreciate hearing from each and every last one of you. So, uh, we're going to get right into this. We do, I am personally getting bored of the 10 to 15 second intro where it's like, you know, holograms, interfere, ghost game, ghost, Digimon. If, you know, they show Mummymon again for this little thing with the roaring and stuff. If you're not going to show like parts of last episode, don't even bother doing this now. I think that's the only reason, I think that's the only proper way now to do these intro i get it for the first three episodes everybody like, hey this was going on now you're just kind of reminding going like hey i don't know if you watched last episode huh here's the thing we've been doing it's even better if you just go hey here's here's the digimon from last episode cool you, it doesn't even have to be that long it, these things are already 10 15 seconds long but now we are in karaoke bar or karaoke place not a bar and they are singing a very familiar song. They're singing one of the ending songs from Digimon Adventure, semicolon, or Digimon Adventure 2020. Um, I think this is the second ending song that came from them. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to sing it because I don't want to embarrass myself that badly. But, yeah, it's three young ladies. They're singing this song very well. All of a sudden, something goes, hear my song, and it starts... Singing it, but it's not singing. It goes la 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 la, and I can't believe this. It's this the, the the octave is going up and down and everywhere, and then suddenly this creepy hand is coming out. The women scream. Meanwhile, our group of Ruli, Hero, Agoramon, Gammon, they're climbing up these steps to a temple. Of course, thanks to uh, Lura runs or. Is it Lily Runs? No, Luru Runs. Uh, little, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, uh, ghost posting. One of the people that post about ghosts and what's going on. So they're able to keep up to date with what's going on. So they go to this temple. There's an offering there. And Gamma's like, ooh, can I eat it? And of course, Hero's telling, well, it's an offering. And has to explain what an offering is. And then we get a new Digimon that shows up. This fox comes out of nowhere, and this fox statue's everywhere. It is this guy here. This is Yokomon, as told to us by good old Angoramon. If it looks familiar, yes. This is a dark version of Kyubimon. Well, technically, I believe this is actually a data type, isn't it? Yeah, this is a data type, because Kyubimon is actually a... Don't tell me. A vaccine type. Uh, I can go ahead and run down this little Digimon. It's like a feature for you. It's a it's a champion form, of course. It's a bewitching beast Digimon that has the appearance of a gigantic blue fox that looks more purple to me, but okay, maybe it's supposed to be indigo. Of a gigantic blue fox that grew nine tails, unlike Yubimon, it is feared as a bewitching beast that brings about destruction and decay. Although its offensive ability itself is not strong, it possesses powerful spirit ability and specializes in art techniques. And instead of it races through the heavens with its red blazing limbs, its signature move is manifesting scorching hot fireballs, manipulating them at will. Homuru Dama, that's the name of the move, and its special move is manifesting a dragon of blazing red flames from its tail, known as Jain Ryu. Little tidbit on this guy. This guy also comes from Renamon, but can turn into Daomon, who is the darker version of Talmon, and then turn into, um, oh goodness, uh, don't tell me, it's uh, Kazuhamon. I personally like the darker forms of this line, because I, I love, uh, what is a, is a Sakuyamon? Sakuyamon is amazing. Kazuhamon is just as cool, especially with that purple and black. Amazing. One of my favorite Digimon. So, this this fella, and this is a fella, he has a deep, deeper voice, so it's more on the male side. Um, 
you know, it's saying that the that it calls them a rude lot. So it's probably speaking in more of a formal, probably more uh, older form of Japanese. And Gamamon's, you know, asking about his tribute food. Gamamon's still cute. And um, he's, and what is it? Uh, Ruli, Ruli, she asks, so are you the ghost everybody's talking about? And he says, well, you know, nowadays, foolish hologram ghost pilgrimages are coming up here. People that try to see the ghost. And, you know, the people are kind of annoying him. And, you know, he even asked them if that's why they're there. And this is where she asked about if the rumors picking up were about him. And he says, all I did was pick up a woman's, a local woman's drop wallet. So, I'm going to assume that better, if you localize that a little bit better, a woman probably dropped her wallet and he picked it up and gave it to her. And now, oh hey, it's a spirit. So, he's not evil, but people are bringing him uh, offerings. Now, when Hiru... Hiro, sorry, when Hiro wants to ask about his father, eh, sorry, Yokoma's like, it's time for my nap, I'm, I'm I gotta go, and just leaves. So this is an instance of another Digimon, but this time, this one isn't evil. Like, what I mean isn't evil, I mean, there's no misunderstanding, it's not kidnapping people, it's not attacking people, it's just, I did a thing, I'm here, alright, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> So, where am I here? Oh, here we are. So, there's a bunch of other spots they can go to now. Uh, again, Ruli, uh, not Sykes, but she mentions, you know, the Lee, the Lee Run account. And now they're going to the same karaoke place that those ladies were attacked. And as a matter of fact, those ladies are leaving because their hair is all frizzled up and a worker's whispering, hey, you know, just discretion is best. Which I'm like... And that's some stuff that's that's typical British and Japanese behavior. Like, oh, let's keep this under wraps. But and Gorman, he he says something smart later in a, in a moment. <clears throat> so another girl is about to sing the same song that we're hearing. This is the trigger song. And it looks like she's just trying her. She's trying out for an idol contest. Um. Meanwhile, our our gang has already signed up for a room. They get inside of this elevator. And I love the fact that because Angoramon is materialized for them, like they have the their whole Digivice thing, he takes up actual physical space because they are like talking over him even though he's see-through. I find that very interesting. When Angoramon says, ah, I see how how it is because uh, he wrote, mentions like, yeah, I overheard him trying to cover it up. He says, well, more than likely what's happening is that the more people tell you to cover up a thing, they're going to talk about it. So they probably are getting more people to come in because everybody wants to see the freaking ghost. <clears throat> um, when asked about, you know, what type of songs each of them like, heroes like, I don't do much singing, so yeah. And suddenly coming, popping out of a room as they're walking is Kirishiro Senpai. Jellymon is there. She openly calls him darling, which is just wonderful. Um, and she says, you know, he's been scared since before we even got in this room because she heard about the ghost incidents too. It's fine. I find it very interesting that Jellymon is also leading the way when it comes to these things. It's kind of, kind of like how Ruli is. <clears throat> so suddenly the girl is getting attacked and she's singing the whole, let me sing my song. And it's going from a weird pitch to a deeper pitch. Um... And was and Gorman's able to sense this. He's like, "Hey, because they're all in a now they're all together in another room, mind you." Ruli does not remember Kirishiro Senpai's name. Calls him a different name, which is kind of funny, but it's okay because I couldn't remember his name either. But and Gorman senses what's going on. He's like, "Hey, it's the second floor." They go in there. Gamamon, you know, headbutts the door, and you know, they're going to uh, save this young lady. My and another thing I need to make note: Jellymon has a she 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 laugh. I I enjoy that. I enjoy that she has a different laugh. <clears throat> so uh, Jellymon again. Also, Jellymon goes between her attack form with the legs and just her jellyfish defensive form. I appreciate that. I'm glad it's not a novelty thing where it's like, oh, sometimes she's in that jelly form just to float around, and other times, and most of the time she's in her walking form. No, she switches between the two, which is pretty cool. 
So the ghost runs because you know it sucks because the girl it was complete that that darkness was wrapping around this girl and choking her while I was singing and um what is going on uh Ruli ends up you know helping walk her out and I guess some other friends from that same girl school come to help her they're all wearing the same uniform and Kirishima wants to leave but and Gorma's like I've never seen anything like this so while Ruli's heading up in the elevator of course, the advertisement for the karaoke place is going on, and they start to play that same song that's getting everybody attacked. And Siren Mom, sorry, I just are kind of already spoiled it, but the Digimon comes on out and attack and is starting to attack her. It's this darkness that's coming out and wrapping her up. And I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is very annoying, but. Uh, Ruli openly says that this is completely different from the rumors because it's starting off really low and it's messing with her. Almost, almost too late, and Goromon senses again. He's like, Ruli is getting attacked. She's in the elevator. Uh, I love the fact now that when a Digimon wants to do attack, Tamer sees the attack in the head, or if he knows the attack, automatically just does the, tell him to do the attack. Sees horn attack, do horn attack. They break into the elevator doors and go down the shaft and drop in on the elevator while this Digimon who appears. And of course, it is Siren Mon because everyone's there now. And, and Gormon is able to tell us. Uh, Jellymon is now chasing after Siren Mon after they go back inside. Uh, same digital effect, you know, with the circles and everything. And, um,. Really, you know, laying, laying uh, on top of Angorma, said so she felt like she was going to die. And, of course, the ever-morbid Jellymon comes in and is like, yeah, she she probably would have died if we didn't get there any sooner. She, 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 she. Which some people are like, ugh. And it's kind of like, I am I see the type of character you are. When it's time for business, it's time for business. But I can see the type of character Jellymon is. <clears throat> Jellymon figured that Siren Mon was moving through the network. Which... I can appreciate that Jellymon kind of had an idea of what Digimon it was. And just to show you who Sirenmon is, Sirenmon looks like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get another picture. This is from the card game. Looks much cuter in that, doesn't it? You would have think that's a would have thought that was a little child Digimon. It is not. It is not a child Digimon. It is an ultimate level Digimon, as a matter of fact. Data type, uh deity slash godman. Excuse me, DD slash uh, Godman Digimon. <clears throat> uh, this Godman Digimon, which has an outward appearance of a bird and a fish, which very much true, uh, it has a per uh, cheerful personality and always sings pleasant songs through the skies and seas. Its voice has a miraculous sweet sound, this is completely opposite, and actually has an eight octave range with very high notes and very low notes and it brings tranquility to even devastated battlefields with the singing voice it said that it is uh that by hearing its uh healing its listeners and performing good deeds it will continue to onto a shining evolution um i'm gonna cut some of this short because some of the stuff that uh and gorma was telling us and what we saw from the digital file it has three different attacks it has a soprano attack uh a bass attack and has a cannon attack um which, you know, when it sings high or sings low, that affects the attack. Uh, the cannon attack was a technique uh, that attacks enemies using its note-shaped shots. Uh, the notes it hits are said to have a, mir a miraculous trait of ricocheting to always strike its targets, which we do get to see. Uh, and it can even attack separate enemies. Each technique has the characteristic of increasing in power if there are others singing alongside Siren Mon corresponding to their quantity even the weak gain great power by singing in the chorus of siren mon this is literally the first time the digimon shown up same with yokomon first time they showed up in animated form uh it showed up siren mon showed up in the pendulum z don't know when yokomon showed up sorry i should have checked that earlier but i didn't but yes so we have another ultimate level digimon this is third one Hmm. And I'm going to contain how I feel until the very end. Or until it's it's uh, apropos. <clears throat> anyway. 
Uh, so they need to find a way to beat this thing. And Hero comes up with a great idea once he sees that there's a VIP floor. They're going to go ahead and go to that VIP floor. And Kirishiro, they're going to have Kirishiro cut off the network and cut off the karaoke places uh, network from connecting to the outside. This way, Sirenmon can't escape. Now, he doesn't want to do this. He wants to ask for permission. But both of the ladies, Ruli and Jellymon, say this is an emergency. And Ruli's pretty, uh, pretty impressed to see that he's doing some hacking, which is what he's doing. So they're getting ready. They pick the song. They shut off all the other all the other networks within there, so no one can pick a song, no one can do anything. And Siremon is just wise to it. Just says, "Okay, so you're just gonna stop other people from hearing my song." And looks around at this VIP area that's much bigger than all the other rooms. And says, "It's pretty small for a concert view, but you know, I got an idea. I'm gonna have everybody else hear my song." Now, Hero wants to try to explain things, but it's not trying to listen. If Flies. This is what's weird. It is a digital hologram ghost. It's not really supposed to be an effect thing, but it it does. It goes through, bursts out of the windows, and it's going down the street. Other people see it as a hologram. They think it's for a movie, and it goes into some uh, it goes into some screens, and it starts to play its song, which is hurting folks. Now the others are running to catch up, and before hero hero's going to use the field, but. And Gormont tells Ruli to do it. I don't know what the frick is the difference. They were both going to just go to the same spot anyway, but whatever. Maybe it gives him points or something. Who knows? <clears throat> so they're in a the digital world. This diva Digimon is just, you know, how dare you stop everyone else from listening? Does its cannon attack with the bouncing notes? Uh, Gammon is hit because Gammon's like, you give me bad vibes. It said it several times throughout the whole episode. And once the, once the cutie pie is hit, everyone takes cover behind the trees. Things are bouncing everywhere. We get bolt knuckle and spiral kick from uh, Kirishiro to Jellymon. And, you know, and Goromon's trying to punch him. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to stay afloat and not get hit by these things. And Gammon says it's kaboom time, which I think is also very cute. It's kaboom time. He's ready to end it. He's constantly moving forward. He's just blocking the attack straight up. And soon, Sirenmon Sir makes all the notes coalesce into a dark mass. That is what the dark mass was that was reaching out. And that is what I wrote earlier. Digimon in this Digimon series, they suck. And what I mean by they suck, they're like nine times out of ten are evil and doing some dumb shit. And it's hard for me to be like, oh, well, it's misunderstanding they're digital just wait till i finish get to wait till i get to this end so once our little baby gamma mon gets chomped by this thing hero you know calls out to him that vital thing goes up we get the evolution sequence battle gamma mon now he gets out but he can't fly now he can't fly anymore and goramon comes and gets him and hero says hey fly up there evenly with siren mon and don't go below it because Iron Man's like, oh, okay, you figured out the trick. My attacks can't bounce if we're faced of, you know, if you're not around something for me for, for it to bounce off of. But Iron Man gets right in their face. And it's ready to do its its uh, singing thing. Also, I said earlier, if the Tamar remembers the move, it can just tell, say the move and the Digimon does it. You know, they do the, uh, the I want to say, shore shot. The sore shot or the sore, uh, the sore shot hit fireball, dark blue fireball. You know, it's bouncing off the attacks. It's not really making purchase with Siremon. And Siremon is just doing some weird taunting. Like, you know, everyone needs to hear it. It's not like you can do anything any better. And right before Siremon's about to attack, <sighs> Hero sings now i i don't know if this is a song he just made up or this is an actual song if hero is singing a real song please let me know in the comment section below but he sings so horribly it is literally hurting everybody it is making the whole world around them vibrate kind of like what siremon was doing now siremon is like moved by the song and, and it's like yeah you did this and this and hero goes into the speech about songs coming from the heart 
I'm not gonna lie, I started to, my eyes started to kind of glaze over when I was watching this part, because it's dumb, because even the others are saying, okay, so they understand each other, they received each other, you know, Siren Ma's like, I received his heart, they understand each other, and, you know, she was wondering why people run away, she's like, oh, it must be because my singing is bad, I'm gonna go into training and leave, and this is just getting dumb, I rewrote wrote this, this is getting dumb. You know, he's glad, uh, he said he's glad about something. I, I forget. I think he's glad that they were able to get past this or whatever. He gets to ask about his father. Gamamon is now singing the song that Hero was singing. And that's really how is it singing. She says, I really don't know. And then Goromon and Hero are both kind of now studying over Gamamon with his whole evolving and turning back. And he's like, yeah, it's, I really don't know how to explain it. And then Goromon does his, you know, once an episode ending uh, haiku-like speech where he's saying, um, should the truth be known, only those who know, know. And even Hero's like, hmm? And even I wrote, what the hell does that even mean? Maybe it has a deep-seated root thing, or maybe it's no one, none of you are realizing that when you have a Digivice, Digimon can go big, and Digimon can come back. And Digimon can go big faster. This is the end of the episode now. Uh, next episode is about cage birds and crows, and like I called it. It's, it's Yadagaramon, or as they call them in English, Crowmon. I actually just raised one in my uh, Digital Monster X. I need to get a new battery for it. But yes, so how do I feel about this? When I was thinking and talking out loud to myself, because I was, I'm, I'm trying to make sure, I'm saying, it really wasn't that bad, right? Maybe, maybe, it's kind of average, so it's like a three, but something in me was like two, and I'm like, ooh, why would I think two? Why would I think two? Why would I say two? Well, I don't feel like having a show that's about the Digimon and the fighting, and I don't, I don't want this show to be Man, you guys are facing all these ultimate level Digimon. Sirenmon could have beaten you senseless if it wanted to. And only one of you can go to champion form. I like that problems are being solved other ways. But you guys are going to have to fight. I, I, I didn't watch Yokai Watch. And I know there's a reason why I didn't watch Yokai Watch. Probably because it's after my time. But... Uh, I do enjoy how the, how their monsters look. Their monsters are very adorable, and some of them look very cool, like the the Kitsune type of thing, and the and the dragon one, <clears throat> and some of the cats. But I digress. How can a thing? And I'm guessing somewhere down the line, it maybe was a different Siren Mon because even in its encyclopedia says it has a sweetly sounding high voice. And even Rulu was like, this thing is low. That's not how the rumor starts. So this could be a different stupid siren mod that's like, oh, I'm going to take over. Oh, I'm just a dumb asshole. Like, your attack is physically hurting people. And you're wondering why people are running away? Or is it because your singing's bad so you resort to making them listen? And I want to use the excuse, well, you know, they're digital monsters. Not all of them understand. Remember, Mummy Mon didn't get it at first until it had to be explained to him. But then look at Yoko Mon, where Yoko Mon openly helps a neighborhood woman. And after that, he's just like, I just want to chill. I just do a good, I did a good deed. Now everybody wants to bring me offerings and stuff. I just want to chill. And there's no other Digimon that just wants to chill. You have Drachmon that wants to like, play pranks to the point of killing people and ruining their lives. Mummy Mon, fine, you get a pass, Mummy Mon. Clock Mon is obviously evil because it's making people rush towards the grave. And then we have uh, Manjara Mon, which eh, Jelly Mon calls that. Jelly Mon is technically the evil one, but I guess she's turned over a new leaf. Maybe she she's understanding, but <clears throat> my goodness gracious. Can I get a, a straight up fight? Can I get, can we bring, this is episode 6, right? By episode 9, can Clockmon come back and I actually see you guys finish it off and go through that revelation of man? 
Sometimes we're actually just going to have to fight because words don't mean shit to some of these guys. And then you have Angoramon just tell you, hey, by the way, if we're killed, a lot of times we'll come back to being eggs unless someone absorbs our data. There you go. But as of right now, I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to be nice and give it a three. I was excited last week. I'm I'm less excited now just because this is this is mild this is getting mildly disappointing. I'm I'm starting to not appreciate how dumb and evil these Digimon look. But firstly, if we're just gonna go full on these Digimon are hurting people and don't give a damn at times, like Cyramon just didn't give a damn. Eventually someone's just gonna have to go, alright, enough is enough. Ultimate level Digimon kill this thing. Like I, I'm, I'm hoping we get a fourth tamer, a, f- a fourth tamer that has a strong silent type Digimon, kind of like a uh, Rio had Cybertramon. Even though he jailed in, I want a guy to show up that has this super strong champion level Digimon. It's like, yeah, no, we're not talking. Pfft, kills it. Now, sure, he's gonna probably attack other Digimon that mean no harm. They're gonna have to figure that out and find a common ground. But I digress. I digress. Let's see, this was an issue that, that we had in, in Digimon Adventure 2020. If they didn't want to kill it, the thing because it was a misunderstanding, they wouldn't do it. And if the thing just openly showed it was evil, they would do it. But who knows? It's still early. It's still episode 6. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, please. Um, as always... Like the video, it definitely helps me out. If you aren't subscribed here, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos like this. Be sure to share the video so others can see what a great time we're having. I'm very interested in what people think so far on this show. As always, please be good, be blessed. Thank you for taking some of your time to spend time with me. <sighs> be good to yourself, be good to others. Either way it goes, don't be a jerk, and I will definitely... See you next time.